Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Toasting. Paul Rudd is an American actor, screenwriter, and producer who has many outstanding works in his portfolio. He became famous back in the 90s and still remains one of the most popular Hollywood actors. In this video, we will tell you about the life of this charming actor who managed to build not only a successful career, but also a strong family. Ant-Man – How Paul Rudd Lives and How Much He Earns Paul Stephen Rudd was born on April 6, 1969 in Passaic, New Jersey to a Jewish family. His ancestors were migrants from Poland who settled in the UK, where Paul's parents were born. The real surname of Paul's paternal ancestors was changed to the English version, Rudd, by his great-grandfather. The parents of the future actor, Michael and Gloria, were second cousins. Michael first worked for a small airline, where he held the position of vice president, then retrained as a tour guide. Gloria worked as a sales manager at a TV company. Aside from Paul, the couple had a three-year-old daughter, Mandy. Because of his father's work, the actor's family often moved. When the boy turned 10 years old, they settled in the city of Lenexa, Kansas, and also spent several years in Anaheim, California. As a child, the future actor played soccer and liked to read old English comic books that his uncle sent him from the UK. Rudd was also fond of drawing and even planned to become an artist in the future. When the boy turned 13, according to Jewish customs, he had a bar mitzvah service, that is, his religious coming of age, at which point he is responsible for all his actions. By the way, a few years later, Paul began working as a DJ at such events. The future actor grew up an active and sociable child. His wonderful sense of humor helped him in his teenage years win the heart of the girl he was in love with, Kelly. After graduating from high school, Rudd enrolled at the University of Kansas, where he majored in theater. He was also a member of the Sigma Nu fraternity, founded back in 1869. Paul then continued his studies at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts with fellow actor Matthew Lillard. Paul also studied Jacobean drama for three months at the British American Drama Academy in Oxford, where he was sent as an exchange student. At Oxford, Rudd studied under the strict guidance of actor Michael Caine. There, the student managed to take part in the production of the play Bloody Poetry by the legendary Globe Theatre. After graduation, Paul didn't get into the film industry immediately. He earned a living at various part-time jobs. He was a paper boy and also glazed ham at the Holiday Ham Company in Kansas. The guy said at that time he smelled so strongly of ham that his friends gave him the nickname Paul Ham Glazer. After six months of ham glazing, Paul moved to Los Angeles, where he began to build an acting career. Funnily enough, Rudd's first appearance on the screen was not a movie, but an advertisement for the Super Nintendo game console shown on television in 1991. In 1992, Paul's real screen debut took place. Rudd starred in the TV series Sisters as Kirby Philby, appearing in 20 episodes. After that, the actor played in several obscure films, until in 1994, he played the main role in the sitcom Wild Oats. However, the project was cancelled after only four episodes, leaving two others unaired. At the same time, Paul could be seen in an episode of the TV series Rebel Highway. Rudd calls that period of his life stormy youth. Together with his friend, actor Adam Scott, Paul partied his brains out, spending all night at drunken raves. Paul recalls that once he and Adam were even kicked out of a friend's wedding because they were too rowdy. In 1995, Rudd starred in the teen comedy Clueless, where he got the role of Josh Lucas, the half-brother of the main character, played by Alicia Silverstone. He's watching the Galleria. So, the flannel shirt deal, is that a nod to the crispy Seattle weather, or are you just trying to stay warm in front of the refrigerator? Oh, wow, you're feeling out there. Oh, wow, your face is catching up with your mouth. 
Weirdly enough, Ben Affleck participated in the casting, but the directors gave their preference to Paul. The movie received positive reviews from critics, and the role of Josh became a breakthrough for the actor and even considered iconic. Few people know that the work on this project was accompanied by a number of tragic events. The fact is that shortly before the start of filming, Rudd lost a friend in a car accident, and some time later, he himself was robbed at gunpoint. Paul was so shocked by these incidents that he decided to move from Los Angeles to New York. In the same year, the actor starred in the horror film Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Rudd expected the movie to be highly rated, but when he saw the final result, he was extremely disappointed and regretted that he took part in this project. In 1996, Paul appeared in an episode of the TV series Clueless and also starred in the drama Romeo Plus Juliet, in which Leonardo DiCaprio played the main role. Funnily enough, a year later, the movie Titanic was released, and according to rumors, Rudd auditioned for the role of Jack. However, in an interview, he denied this information, saying that he dreamed of acting in this film to please his father, who studied the wreck of the Titanic. But it did not go further than talking. But it turned out to be true that Paul was the one who supported Leo in his desire to go to the casting. Then, the filmography of the actor was replenished with films The Locust, Overnight Delivery, and The Object of My Affection, where his partner on the set was Jennifer Aniston. The actor struck up a strong friendship with her. In 1999, Rudd starred in the comedy 200 Cigarettes and in the drama The Cider House Rules, where his partners on the set were Tobey Maguire and Charlize Theron. Look, Wally, thanks. I'm lucky I met you. I'm the lucky one. No, really, I'm lucky, Wally. Hey, look, do you want to fight about it? Kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> According to the script of the film, the actors became trapped in a love triangle and their brilliant interaction led to a nomination for the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture. In addition, the movie was nominated for an Oscar in seven categories, two of which resulted in a victory. In the early 2000s, the filmography of the actor was replenished with the projects The Great Gatsby, Strangers with Candy, Deadline, Wet Hot American Summer, The Chateau, and Gen Y Cops. The latter movie, which was shot in Hong Kong, is perhaps one of the most unusual in the actor's career. In 2002, Rudd joined the cast of the cult TV series Friends in the role of Mike Hannigan, the boyfriend and then husband of Phoebe Buffet. So, Mike, how do you and Joey know each other anyway? Oh, how do Joey and I know each other? Wow. And if I had a nickel for every time somebody's asked me that. <laughs> Paul fit in perfectly, and many fans of the series called him nothing less than the seventh friend. The following year, the actor starred in the short film House Hunting, the drama comedies Two Days, and The Shape of Things. At the same time, the public's attention was also focused on the personal life of the actor. In February 2003, after five years of relationship, Paul married Julie Yeager, who, by the way, is also Jewish. Rudd met his beloved on the first day of his move to New York. At that time, the girl was working in the office of an agent with whom the actor was going to collaborate. Jumping forward, it is worth noting that Paul has become a faithful and caring spouse and his family for the past 20 years is an example for the whole of Hollywood. In 2004, Rudd starred in the comedy Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy, where he played reporter Brian, a tireless ladies' man. I mean, come on, Ed, it's bull don't get me wrong, I love the ladies. I mean, they rev my engine, but they don't belong in the newsroom. For his role in this film, Paul received two MTV Movie Award nominations for Best Musical Performance and Best On-Screen Team. In the same year, the actor delighted fans with the drama P.S. and the sequel to the comedy about the adventurous TV host Wake Up, Ron Burgundy, The Lost Movie. In 2005, Paul appeared in an episode of the TV series Stella and also starred in the films Tennis, Anyone, The Baxter, and The 40-Year-Old Virgin. For his role in which, together with the cast, he was nominated for the MTV Channel Award for Best On-Screen Team. 
Here it is, Boner Jams 03. It's a mixtape I made. All these great scenes that I was really into in uh, the summer of 2003. Oh. I think you'd really dig it. Yeah, no, I can see that. In 2006, Rudd voiced the documentary The Armenian Genocide and the animated series Robot Chicken, and also starred in the films The O in Ohio, Diggers, The X, and Night at the Museum. In the same year, at the age of 37, Paul became a father for the first time. His wife gave birth to their son, Jack. In 2007, our hero appeared in the TV series Veronica Mars and Reno 911 as well as in the movies I Could Never Be Your Woman, Reno 911 Miami, Knocked Up, and The Ten, in which Rudd also acted as a producer. The following year, his filmography was replenished with films Over Her Dead Body, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Little Britain USA, and Role Models. In the latter movie, Paul not only played one of the main roles, but also co-wrote the script. In 2009, the guy voiced the cartoon Monsters vs. Aliens and also starred in the bromantic comedy I Love You, Man. I'm kind of drunk. Really? Yeah, I had to take a cab home. Really? Did you, um... Throw up in his face? Yeah. No. Oh, good. That's good. That's good. So is he your best man? In the film, Rudd played a real estate agent, Peter, who is desperately looking for a friend to be a suitable best man for his wedding. And in the end, he finds Sidney, the investor, played by Jason Siegel. In the film, the buddies bonded by their shared love of the rock band Rush. By the way, in real life, the actors are fans of the band. Interestingly enough, after the premiere of the film, Paul was awarded the MTV Movie and TV Award for Best Kiss, except that this time Rudd kissed a man. In the same year, the sitcom Party Down aired, which Rudd wrote and produced. The series received good reviews from critics, but the ratings were low, so the project was canceled the following year. In 2010, Paul appeared in an episode of Tim and Eric Awesome Show, Great Job, and also starred in the comedy Dinner for Schmucks and the drama How Do You Know. In the same year, there was a joyful event in the actor's family. His daughter Darby was born. In 2011, Rudd voiced the animated sitcom The Simpsons and played the main role in the comedy drama Our Idiot Brother. The following year, he appeared in the series The Greatest Event in Television History and Parks and Recreation, as well as in the comedy Wanderlust, the rom-com This Is 40, and the drama The Perks of Being a Wallflower. In it, the actor played the role of the teacher, Mr. Anderson, the mentor of the protagonist. We accept the love we think we deserve. Can we make them know that they deserve more? We can try. In 2013, Paul's filmography was replenished with the film Admission, the series Burning Love, the drama All Is Bright, a cameo role in This Is The End, as well as the sequel Anchorman 2 The Legend Continues, for the role in which Paul was nominated for MTV Movie and TV Awards for hashtag WTF Moment and Best Fight. In the same year, Rudd appeared in the film Prince Avalanche, playing a meditative road worker reflecting on life. You shouldn't smoke. Oh yeah, and no, I know it's bad for you. No, I mean, you shouldn't smoke. You look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Despite the fact that the film was a box office failure, many critics noted Paul's acting and consider this role one of the best in his career. In 2014, the man starred in the satirical romantic comedy They Came Together and voiced Tom in the animated series Trip Tank, and the following year he was a voice actor in the cartoon The Little Prince and appeared in the TV series Moon Boy, Neon Joe, Werewolf Hunter, as well as Wet Hot American Summer First Day of Camp. Also, the actor played the main role in the superhero action movie Ant-Man, which became the most famous in his career. I had a sensor trip, but I'm not seeing anything. Wait a second. Abort, Scott. Abort now. It's okay. He can't see me. I can see you. He can see me. Hi. Funnily enough, when the actor's son found out that his father would play Ant-Man in the Marvel movie universe, the boy was skeptical about it, saying, Dad, you're not cool enough to play Ant-Man. 
Indeed, Paul had to work hard on his physical form to fit the role. He was on a special diet and worked out in the gym for several hours every day. The filming took place in the utmost secrecy. Rudd had to wear a raincoat that hid the Ant-Man suit so that information about the movie would not leak to the press. The filming process was complicated by the intense heat, because of which Paul even had to plug tubes with cold water into the suit. The efforts were not in vain, and the movie was a box office success. For his role in the film, the actor was nominated for the MTV Movie Award and Saturn Award and also, according to media reports, received a fee of $300,000. In an interview, Rudd admitted that some people openly laughed at his role, but many fans in the Marvel Universe call his portrayal of Ant-Man one of their favorite superheroes. By the way, Paul not only starred in the film, but also acted as one of the screenwriters. In 2016, the filmography of the actor was replenished with the animated projects Sausage Party, Bob's Burgers, and Nerdland, as well as the drama The Fundamentals of Caring, and another superhero film from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Captain America Civil War. For the role of Ant-Man, Paul earned $200,000. In 2017, Rudd appeared in the TV series Wet Hot American Summer, 10 years later, and in the comedy Fun Mom Dinner. A year later, he starred in the films The Catcher Was a Spy, Ideal Home, Mute, and Ant-Man and the Wasp, for the filming of which he has earned $3.2 million. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, sorry, I know I'm not a whale. This will just take a second. Hey, that doesn't belong to you. No! 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 You're embarrassing no. yourself now. Come on, let go! No. Ah. Interestingly enough, the role of the Wasp in the film was played by Evangeline Lilly, which Paul was incredibly happy about. The fact is that the woman previously starred in the cult classic TV series Lost, and the actor is a huge fan of this project. In 2019, Paul starred in the comedy Between Two Ferns, the movie, and in the superhero movie Avengers Endgame, which became the highest grossing film in history, grossing almost $2.8 billion. Paul's fee amounted to $1.5 million. At the same time, the TV series Living With Yourself appeared on the screens, in which Rudd played two roles at once, a copywriter who is dissatisfied with his life and his more successful clone. By the way, the man also acted as a producer of the project. For the roles in the series, Paul was nominated for a Golden Globe for the first time. In 2021, the actor voiced Ant-Man in the animated series What If? and also starred in the supernatural comedy Ghostbusters Afterlife, and in the series The Shrink Next Door, which he also produced. Thank you. I breathe in. Yeah. Breathe out. There you go. Yes. Is that the kind of advice you charge all that money for? That's right, yeah. <laughs> That's eight years of training right there. <laughs> In the project, Rudd got the role of a doctor who completely took over the life of his patient. Critics praised Paul's acting and noted that the charming actor managed to perfectly fit the role of the villain. The man's fee for the shooting was $1 million. In the same year, People magazine named 52-year-old Paul Rudd the sexiest man in the world. And indeed, the actor looks great for his age. However, many people joke online that he sold his soul to the devil and has not changed at all since then. In an interview, Paul admitted that if the assignment of this title depended on his wife, Julie would have given the title to Keanu Reeves with which Rudd would undoubtedly agree. In 2022, the filmography of the actor was replenished with the cartoons Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers and the Bob's Burgers movie, as well as the detective series Only Murders in the Building. At the moment, Rudd is still active in cinema. He recently delighted fans with his appearance in the movie Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. A sequel to the Ghostbusters franchise is in pre-production stage. Also, according to rumors, Paul's fans will be able to see him in the role of Ant-Man in the movie Avengers The Kang Dynasty, which is scheduled to premiere in 2025. The actor also enjoys performing in the theater. He has appeared in Broadway productions such as Twelfth Night and Three Days of Rain. To date, Paul's net worth is estimated at $70 million. Rudd actually receives not only fees, but also a percentage of profits for shooting in Marvel films. 
Thus, in 2019, his annual income exceeded $40 million, which allowed him to become one of the highest paid celebrities on the planet. Over the years of his career, Paul has advertised many brands, including Pepsi, Lay's, and Heineken. It's worth noting that Rudd is a kind and sympathetic person who devotes himself to charity. He donates money to children's hospitals and the Stuttering Association for the Young. Paul also has other good deeds on his account. The celebrity distributes cookies to people for free, and once gave Ant-Man's helmet to a schoolboy who had no friends. Colleagues of the actor note his excellent sense of humor and self-irony. His appearances on Conan O'Brien's show are nothing short of spectacular. Instead of promoting his new works for many years under the guise of an exclusive video, he brought a ridiculous clip from the film Mac and Me, which is considered one of the worst films in the history of world cinema. In his spare time, Rudd enjoys baseball and American football rooting for Kansas teams. Together with his family, the actor lives in Rhinebeck, New York. In the same area, Rudd, his wife, and a friend own Samuel's Sweet Shop. Friends bought this store in 2014 and saved it from closure. The fact is that the former owner of the establishment, with whom Paul had a warm relationship, died suddenly. So after buying the store, Rudd kept the memory of him. The actor also owns an apartment in the West Village, New York, and a mansion in the Brentwood neighborhood in Los Angeles worth $9.7 million. The area of almost 500 square yards is gated with a high fence. There is a swimming pool with a seating area and a guest house on the property. There are several cars in the actor's garage. Ford Explorer, Hyundai Sonata worth $24,000, Cadillac Escalade for $78,000, Mercedes-Benz S-Class for $112,000, Range Rover worth $119,000, and Aston Martin Vantage V12 estimated at $147,000. Over the years of his career, the actor starred in more than 100 films and was awarded his own Hollywood Walk of Fame star. What's your favorite Paul Rudd movie? If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.